Welcome to Janet's Planet, where we're traveling at the speed of thought. And today I am with an amazing science genius. Shubham Banerjee has invented something truly remarkable. Welcome, Shubham. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Tell everybody for me, if you will, what exactly you invented. Um, what I invented is a low-cost braille printer made out of Legos. And what it does, it prints braille. Um, it uses a pin from Home Depot you can buy, and it's uh, very easy to make, very simple to program, and very easy to learn. Fantastic, because I read that it costs about two thousand dollars for a real yeah, braille printer. It starts at two thousand, and, and it can get up to eighty thousand. How much does your braille printer cost? Three hundred fifty dollars, which is eighty-two percent less costly than the normal braille printer. What exactly inspired you to make a braille printer? I was inspired by the all all these visually impaired people and how the radiaxis for a normal braille printer is so it's not like and it costs so much. So apparently you identified a problem, which means we need a less expensive braille printer. Talk right. to me how you brainstormed your your plan. It was a trial and error process. I suddenly I found a model that I wanted and then from there I, I modified that and made my braille printer. In real braille, it actually makes dents in the paper and mine it makes holes so then in the future i hope to actually make um from the head of the real braille printer with that pin i can include it in my um braille printer well it sounds like you're off to a great start had you invented something or some things before you invented your brago i mean uh this is my first robotics kit but i have tried i've tried many times so you said it took a long while to do this, from start to finish when you knew you had like exactly how you wanted it. How long did it take? Uh, it took around four weeks. What really inspired you to create? I didn't know if I could build it. I said, okay, I, I want to try. I, I, want, I wanted to help the visually impaired so badly. I didn't think it was possible, but after many, many trial and error process, um, then I, I finally got the result I wanted. I mean, not only do you have a brilliant mind, you also have an amazing heart. And I want to compliment you on that because you could have potentially sold this technology to someone for lots of money, but you didn't do that. What did you do? Um, I made the programming and how to build it for free. And currently it's on YouTube. You can program it and build it for free. What do you want to share with kids your age or other kids around the world about the thrill of inventing something? You know, first you learn from your mistakes, uh, never give up, and it's always good to help people. Wow. Again, I just am so super impressed and want to encourage you so very much to continue to use that great brain of yours. You've got a bright future, my friend. Let your mind revolve around this thought. Remember, whatever you can think, create, or imagine today just might be great science tomorrow. And that's the view from Janet's Planet.